In this video, I'm going to show you what the differences are between mono and stereo. And this applies to audio events, and this also applies to the track or the audio track. Let me go ahead and play this session for you. And for this, I'm using the face meter. This is a stock plugin that comes with Studio One. Check it out. So right now the face meter is telling us that this has stereo information. And there's a couple of things that I want to draw out. First of all, most of these tracks are stereo because there's two waveforms. Let me go ahead and zoom in. See that there's a top waveform, that's the left channel. And the bottom waveform represents the right channel. And because these were dragged in from loop libraries, more than likely they're going to be stereo. However, some things in here are not stereo. And let's see if we can find them. Okay, right here, the strings. Let me go ahead and change the color so you guys can see that better. So the strings is actually mono. Let's slow that track. We can also inspect this a little bit by using the face meter. Okay, let's compare that with the lead track. So you see all this information there representing that it's stereo versus the strings, which is mono. That's just going straight up the middle. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and hide this. So let's take a look at a couple scenarios. All right, first of all, whenever you're importing audio from other sessions, or let's say a producer sends you a mix and they want you to mix it and they give you everything separate, like kick, snare, hi-hat, clap, nine times out of 10, the drums are gonna be mono, not stereo. So just because the waveform displays stereo doesn't mean that they have to be stereo when you're mixing down. Let's take a look at this bass track. Let's solo it. Let's see what that would sound like if it was mono. Okay, so the track type now is mono, but the audio event is still stereo. So in order to make both of these match, you have to bounce the audio event. So for that, you can right click and choose bounce, which is bounce selection. We can just use the keyboard shortcut, which is command B. And now the audio event properly reflects the track type. And let's take a look at our correlation meter. Okay, let's go ahead and hide that. And let's undo this. Okay, so we're back to where we were. So a couple of things to understand is that the audio event can be independent from the track. So for example, we can change the track to mono, but the audio event is still stereo. But what we're gonna actually hear is gonna be mono. If we actually wanna convert that audio event to reflect that, to reflect mono, then you have to bounce it like that using command B. So very simply, if you see two waveforms, that's a stereo audio event. If you see one waveform, that's a mono audio event. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to take a mono audio event and convert that to stereo playback. 